Hello, Doc Tony. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Very good. Where are we today? Well, it's at the Union Bank headquarters. Nice. So, what event is this? Well, I'm supposed to deliver a lecture on mind over matter. Wow, diba? What did you have for breakfast this morning? Just coffee. Just coffee. If you could eat one type of food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Vegetables. Wow, so is there a heart healthy food that you don't like to eat naman? Oatmeal. Favorite activity to do with your family? Traveling. Three words that best express your personality? Relentless for change. Wow, so what made you want to become a cardiologist? I want to heal people. Who inspires you the most with your work? Well, um, seeing persons being healed and uh, saving lives. What's the best part of your work? Well, the best part of my work is actually three things. Teaching, doctor kasi comes from the Latin word docere, to teach, and then healer, and then the last one is very challenging, leader. Uh, so to teach, to heal, and then to lead. With those three things, Doc, how do you manage your work-life balance? Well, I, I don't manage my time. I, I manage my energy and not my time. So if I am more energetic and I'm more vibrant, then I can manage my time. Lesser time with work, and then you're more productive with it. What are some of the most rewarding experiences you've had? Just one. Well, uh, treating, your, treating your parents. Oh, that's nice. Is that your greatest work achievement? Well, I think, no? Kasi I owe a lot din sa parents ko. And I think treating your parents with, with the education uh, given to me, I think that's the greatest reward. No? How can you handle stress in your profession? Well, I, I usually chill. I believe in the principle, reading Ryan Holiday's books, Stillness is Key. Uh, reading uh, Stoic Principles, Marcus Aurelius. So, chill lang ako. I'm emotionless. Uh, whatever stress that would come my way. Kasi cardiologist ako, I cannot panic it. Diba? What made you decide to use social media, Doc, for sharing health-related news and topics? Accidental. Kasi I was someone to lead. And then I thought that uh, I could reach more people if I would go into those social media. And somebody from the palace was able to view yung social media posts ko. And I was called upon to be the national advisor for COVID. I love that. So what's your favorite social media, Facebook or Instagram? Uh, lahat eh. But my preference would be Facebook in terms of following. But influencing... Uh, critical thinkers, I think the Twitter. Any misconceptions about the heart that you want to debunk? Misconceptions about? The heart. The heart? Well, they call it the, the loving muscle. Eh. But it's more than that. Because eh. if you control your heart, you control everything. So it also controls the brain, your emotions, and your drive. No? So, anatomically, it might be the organ for loving, eh? but it's the center of everything. Eh? I love that. Can mental health, Doc, affect heart health? Yes. Um, when you are not, when your heart is not in the right place, then your mind will also follow. So, you, you need to be righteous. You need to be correct, you need to be courageous, so that you will be able to think of things that will decide a better life for you. Yun ang tingin ko eh. So, if your heart is in the right place, everything will follow. 
What's the best piece of advice you've ever received about staying healthy? Well, I think the biggest discovery is actually vitality. Um, I used to believe na diet, everything, no? But as you grow older, alam mo, importante is to exercise because it releases the hormone endorphins. And then, pag na-release ang endorphins mo, nagiging masaya pa. You become happier. What lifestyle changes can I make to improve both my mental health and heart health? Uh, it's, it's, it's regularity of what you're doing. You, you have to paint the identity that you would like to project in the future. And then everything will follow. Ano bang gusto mo? So let's say my identity. I'd like to live up to 80 or 90 healthy. So that's the identity that I'd like to project. How can I best manage stress and anxiety? Well, you, you need to plan first kung ano yung gusto mo. And then when you plan, then you will be able to set a goal for yourself. Why is mental health very important? Mental health because it controls your life. Kasi a lot of people, akala nila during the pandemic is about the COVID lang, pandemic and then the lifestyle. But there's another epidemic brewing up and that's the mental stress. It's, it's something na hindi alam na a lot of people. Why is it important to prioritize both mental and heart health? Well, it's interrelated tsaka link sila eh. Because if you're physically active, your mental health will follow. Any advice on how to keep calm during stressful times? Well, you have to pull back a little bit and then think. But if you're not physically um, active, hindi ka nag-exercise, wala, wala kang ritual on how to do that, hindi eh. So in, you need ruthless consistency in terms of uh, trying to keep yourself physically active. Doc, malapit na event mo. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's just do fast talk. Uh, yeah. Yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> best way to relax at the end of the day? Well, the best way to relax is to do treadmill in front of a TV para makapag Netflix ka. Ah, Netflix. Best movie? Best movie? Um, ano ko eh, hopeless romantic ako. Notting Hill. I watched that 20 times. Ju Julia Roberts. One thing that makes you happy? Well, seeing my family doing, doing well, um, I believe that will be my greatest achievement. Dream vacation spot? Well, believe it or not, it's uh, South Africa. Wow! Are you a night or morning person? I'm a morning person. Favorite book? My favorite book? The Bible. Can you share a quote that you live by? Health is well. And lastly, any final message you want to share to our viewers? Well, I, I think this is the moment that we need to transform ourselves into something socially responsible to help our country. And since um, leaders are preoccupied with so many things, I think we need to be empowered, we need to be educated and engaged so that we can help a lot of people. Alright, thanks Doc. See you later. Yeah. Bye.